today we're going to look at mini resistance band workouts okay a nice 20 minutes so we're looking at upper body core and lower body using the small mini resistance bands okay you can use bigger ones and you can tie a knot in them and make them a loop but this is what we're going to look at today when it comes to the small resistance bands you're still going to get a workout they come in different resistances some different colors for different resistances lighter medium and a little bit more advanced okay so work accordingly work your reps and sets if you need to stop before I do then that's absolutely fine and build up as you go along so let's get started let's get some music on and let's get started so make sure you're all warmed up you're fully warmed up I'm not including a warm-up within this so spend five six minutes getting warmed up okay so when you're ready take a standing position and we'll get started okay I've got on that ready for what I want to do later on on the floor so gently with the band just place it around so it's close to your wrists okay and all we're going to do is stand up nice and tall and draw the band down so we're going to lift and draw elbows are down arms are coming up and as you draw the band down take the arms out keeping the elbows down not too low abs in nice and tight slow and controlled same speed down and the same speed up don't forget to concentrate on your breathing. Two more. Roll down. And relax. Roll the shoulders round. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Just lift them lower. One more time. Second set. Coming up. All the way. Let's go. Take it down. Pop. I'm just going to move back slightly so you can see my arms. So drawing those shoulder blades down. Keep the shoulders down themselves as well way up all the way down all the while you're keeping your arms pushed away from you keep going two more times relax take them down roll the shoulders so this time we're going to draw the elbows down and then we're going to squeeze them back okay so we're going to add an extra dimension now. okay so arms in position good position and posture drop the shoulders start with the arms up so we're going to take it down squeeze take it down squeeze draw the shoulder blades back so the band is roughly chest level push draw squeeze count it almost in like groups of four so we draw it down, squeeze, and lift. Two more times. Let's go. Take it down. Last one. And relax. Take the band out. Okay, so we're going to take it down to lower legs. Okay, so you're going to step into your band. Now, if you've got your long leggings on, this is going to be a little bit easier on the lower half of your legs. Okay, so try to keep it controlled. Legs in a good position of squat, bottom out, bend at the knees. Okay, we're going to take a leg out and in. We take it out and in. Try and keep this upper body nice and still. Not lifting your leg too high. Now I'm on the grass. But you've got to make sure that you're lifting and not scraping your foot. Just take it wider than hip distance. Make sure you're landing your heel to the floor. Four more. Let's go. Two more times. Keep that tummy in tight. Now just go as if it's two o'clock on the clock. Two o'clock. So slightly off centre stepping forward use the arms if you want to slightly off center so it's not three o'clock it's kind of in the middle of one and two toes going forward two more now you're going to take that leg back to not quite six o'clock so take it back back the standing leg is still doing the work I'm not taking this leg directly behind me. I'm taking it just off as if I'm on a clock face and it's about five o'clock. Keep going. Two more. Back 
back into normal squats, take it down. Work for the transfer to go across. Okay, other leg. So now you're at nine o'clock. Now, can you see now I'm taking my weight across with it? Slower controlled. Standing leg working. Use the arms. Keep the coin tight. You only really want to be that far off the floor. Again, keep going. Keep the shoulders down. Think about your whole posture as you're still working your legs. Four more. Now think about taking that leg in front about 10 o'clock. Let's go. So if you're on a, on a clock. Now remember to just put the weight down through this back leg. Yes, you're stepping forward on an angle. You still remain that back foot on the floor. Push against the band. Work with the resistance. Four more times. Let's go. Two more. Keep that breathing controlled. Now you're going to go back to about seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. So we are working and targeting different parts of your glutes. Abs in tight. So take it back. And again. Four more. Two, start to feel a burn on the outside of the glutes. Squats, take it down. Ooh, loosen them off a little bit. Good job. Well done. Okay, so normal front lunges with the band. Step right and then step left. Okay, nice and controlled. We're going to do it in counts of four. Are we ready? So we're going to go one, two, three, four. What you might find is the band might roll up the leg and that's fine. Work with it. Oh, you might need to just move it down. So if it needs to come down. Four counts. One, two, three, four. So what I've done there is I've just shortened up my lunge there. Can you see? So just shortened it up. So I'm going to turn to the side so you can see. Bring it back. So it's one, two, three, four. Small. Sit in my bottom back down leg. Four counts. One, two, three, and four. Work with the resistance. Shorten up the stride. The band will stop moving up the leg. One more. Good effort. Okay, keep the band. Okay, move it down if you need to, adjust it. Okay, take a leg slightly out, slightly back, and we're going to lift and squeeze. Okay, keep everything in tight, shoulders back. We lift. Now I'm going to try and keep my leg nice and straight. I'm going to come too far off the floor. So here instantly I'm working my glutes and my hamstrings. Keep going, let me turn to the side so you can see. Core tight, four more. Work those hamstrings, two more. This is where the resistance of the band, the strength of it, okay? Change other side. Position yourself up, slightly back and behind. Small distance, let's go. Lift. tip so I'm not wanting this okay I'm wanting just from the glutes to raise two more good job okay back face in the front last one on the legs little squat outside leg raise okay so amend the band if you need to we take it down lift now I'm gonna be a little bit mean here and I'm gonna stay on the same leg and lift. Now remember to keep that gap in between your knees. Remember your squat techniques, Take that bottom back, keep that back nice and flat. Okay, you don't need to just go into a deep squat because I'm targeting your 
outer thighs four more three two last one straight change so a little squat to get your balance try and keep this posture nice and tall so what i don't want to see is this and we turn so keep that posture tall drive up you have might have a weaker leg so it might be slower but nevertheless it's still as controlled four more let's go that's two and last one good job okay out we come up the band bring it up okay so what i want you to do is loop it around your thumb we're going to do what's called a bow and arrow move okay set up your position of your legs okay hold band as if you are going to shoot a bow and arrow bring the elbow back again again you can hold the band however you see fit but ideally it's this arm that's doing the work legs are in a position of good balance look at your hand in front keep that tummy in tight draw back high elbow let's go high so don't want the elbow dropping down low nice and high Tummy engaged, belly button to spine, four more. Try and get the arm as far back as you can without too much. That's two. Drop them down, change position, other side, let's go. Pull. I'm having to work a little bit harder there because this is my left arm. So I'm having to try and keep that elbow up high. It's not as strong, it's going to tire a little bit quicker. So I want you to concentrate on your technique. Keep looking at the hand in front of you. Draw the elbow back. Four more, let's go. Four. Three. Two. And one. Well done. Good effort, guys. Okay, so I just want you to loop a band around your foot. Okay? So loop the band around your foot nice and tall. We're going to do a hip hinge and a, a, and a, a bent over row. Okay, so we're going to hip hinge and then we're going to row. Come back up. Hip hinge. Really good for the hamstrings. Keep a flat back and then row the arm. As you come up, you've got to make sure that the band is increasing resistance, but you're working against it and you're fighting it. Push the hips forward, drop, keep the legs nice and straight, row, up, push the hips, row. So what I don't want to see is when you're down here, the back just comes arched. I want you to try and flatten it out, push the bottom back. Two more, let's go. high good job okay so just take it off the foot put it onto the other foot nice and flat get hold of the band stand up tall try not to let the band pull you out of sorts okay ready hip hinge and row so take it down row stand up tall squeeze the bottom row now when we're rowing, try not to rotate. So still keep your shoulders facing the floor. Up. So what I don't want to see is this. I don't want to see any rotation. Okay. Keep that habit in tight. Pull up. Really good for your hamstrings is this. It's a good morning with a row. So we're working back of the legs, bottom and back of the arms and back of the upper part of your back and shoulders. One more, let's go. Hip hinge and row, take it off. It's easy on and off, it's easy on and off. So, okay, so we've done legs, we've done arms. Okay, it's time to go down to the floor and get some cool work done. So let's go into a plank position with your hands in position of the band like that. see me okay so plank position hands shoulder distance so I don't want the band too slack just keep it a nice distance plank position 
and hold. Now if your feet are together it's going to be a little bit harder so for this one here we're going to start from the easy position so I'm going to ask you to drop to your knees but you're in plank position. I want you to just row an arm up, row an arm. Keep your palms facing the floor and you see I'm driving that elbow up. So this is easy position. If you want to make it harder, you want to be in plank. Two more. Engage the core before you lift. Sit it back down. Stretch the arms. Okay, now make sure that again you've got the band and we are open wide for press ups. Wide as the mat. If I show you from this way on, we are as wide as the mat. Okay, on your knees to start with, just over the top, push. Keeping the band tight. Again. Nice and slow, don't rush. Elbows out. And hold it there. So this time, we're going to take the band even further, do a press, and then bring it in and do a press. Take the other arm out. So you're really stretching that band it in. Take it out. You've really got to work that band. If you've got a range of resistances, you might be stronger on the legs than you are on the arms. So you might need to just change it up a little bit. One more eye on the side. Last time. Okay. Bring those arms in. Good effort. Good effort. Okay. So still staying on the mat. Take your band, take it around the foot of your trainer. Okay, so hand goes underneath, keep a knee bent, keep a lovely posture, and you're gonna row close. I bent the knee to make it a little bit easier for you. Pull. Now you've got to keep good control of your foot, don't let your foot twist and get pulled by the band. These are really good postural exercises, these. Okay, so row, row, row. Shoulder down, pull. And again, I've not looped it around two feet, I've just loped it around one. Two more. Lovely, I'm gonna change feet, so just take the band off, loop it around the other one, make sure it's not twisted, so you get a real good equal resistance. Okay, keep that knee bent, support if you wish, and draw. So from here, I'm drawing, and I'm squeezing that shoulder blade. Trying to keep my shoulders forward, so I'm not adding that twist and rotation. Pull, pull, again. Keep the space here between your neck and your shoulders, don't reduce the space. Remember to keep this wrist nice and strong if you want to turn your wrist so you can get a nice good control with the elbow run, running by the side of your waist, you can. Two more, let's go. Fantastic work guys. Okay, so now what I would like you to do is put the band over both of your feet, okay? We're going to go down into some core work, okay? And this is where we finish, all right? So feet nice and good distance. Think about your hands, okay, where we started, feet in good distance. And you've got to work the outside of your thighs to keep them apart. Toes pointing up, okay, so we are in that position. Now remember not to knock your knees. Your knees need to be in line with your toes the whole time. This is where the extra work comes in, okay? So when we're ready, I'm going to move back a bit so you can see. Okay, we're just going to slowly roll down and slowly roll up. All the while, you're keeping a gap in between your knees. Take it down, roll it up, squeeze, try and get that chest up. Lovely. Last one. 
So this time we're going to roll down, stay down, bring the feet up and then down. Off we go. So roll it down and then just bring your knees up and down. Roll up. Again, let's go. Keep the gap. Squeeze the knees. Start to tip and turn. Let's go. Roll up. All the while, keep those feet gapped. Oh, last one. Slowly down. Oh, okay, stay down on the floor for me. Stay down. Now, what I want you to do is just push. Can you see I've just moved my hands to the lower half and I'm going to push the band away. Still got my toes pointing up. Now, relax the neck and the shoulders. Only move one leg at once. Can you see how I'm just bringing in one leg and then changing and driving the other out? Can you see I'm always pointing my toes up. My feet and heels aren't going to the floor, but they are going out to straight. Use the resistance of the band for your lower abdominals. Four more, let's do this. Feel the lower core working. Now just bring the band just to your ankles and sit your feet enough for bridge. We're going to take it up. Okay, squeeze the glutes, the hamstrings. Make sure the feet are at band distance. You're going to bring the knees in and out. So I want you to squeeze the knees in together now. So we're working against the resistance of the band. Hips are up and square, square to the ceiling, square to the sky. Work, work, work. Hands go down. Got to keep lifting those glutes. Come on, inner and outer thighs. You've got to think of whole balance. Keep going. Let's do four more. Control it, control it. Last one. And relax. Drop down. Roll yourself up. Guys, that's your mini band workout today. Very well done. That doesn't include a cool down, so please do go and stretch your legs. Excellent work. Keep coming back to it. Keep adding on the reps if you can. If you tire and you fatigue before I change, work at getting a little bit stronger and going right until the end of the change when I change as well. Hope you enjoyed that. Have a wonderful day. I'll catch you soon. Take care. See you soon.